We're going to take a car that has an engine size of 348 cubic inches. And we're going to convert that to cubic centimeters. Inches, centimeters. Well, we've used this before. And remember, that's an exact relationship. So let's start the problem. We're given 348 cubic inches. And when I put my conversion on there, I do centimeters over inches because I want to cancel out inches. Now if we do a unit check, hang on a moment, there's a problem. This is what we have on our units. We didn't get cubic centimeters, we have something that's just really wrong. Let's start over. Now this relationship is correct, but it's not correct for this problem because this is not a length conversion problem, this is a volume conversion problem. Be very careful on your volume conversions and on your area conversions because volume conversions are cubed, area conversions are squared. I need to cube both sides. You see a problem with what I've done. Property of equality in mathematics. Whatever you do to one side, the same operation to the other side. Now the left side is correct, but that's only because of the number one. One cubed is one. What I didn't do is I didn't properly cube the right side. This is the proper way to show it. So let's start over. Let's, let's put the problem in, okay? Uh, 348 cubic inches. And, well, we already tried this and it didn't work. But we have cubed dimensions. So that takes care of one of them, two of them, three of them. I check my units. I have cubic inches in the numerator cubic inches in the denominator, so that cancels, and I have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. It's cubic centimeters, so units-wise, I'm good. Now for the math, it's 348 times 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54. Ooh, don't cube the 348. Somebody else has already done that work, and they reported the answer as 348 cubic inches. And that's the calculator result. It's not reporting the answer with the correct number of significant figures. So let's go back and look at our information. That has three significant figures in it. This one, that's exact. So our answer gets three significant figures in it. So 5, 7, 0, look at the 2, it's less than 5. So we write that as 5,700 cubic centimeters. Yeah, that doesn't have the right number of significant figures. It only has 2. This is one of those rare cases because of the rules we've set down for significant figures and answers, you must put this in scientific notation. 5.70 times 10 to the third cubic centimeters. And I know this is a little overkill, but we're trying to use a consistent set of rules throughout the course. Now, to give you an example, if you lived 10 minutes away from somebody, and when you do the calculation for speed and taking all that into consideration, you go, oh, it's supposed to have two significant figures. You'd never tell your friend, well, I'll be over in 1.0 times 10 to the first minutes. You'd say 10 minutes. Let me show you a different way to set this problem up. So let's start with the 348 cubic inches. And look at our conversion.
Now, instead of writing this out three times, we can cube it. You get the same answer. Be careful when you're working with squared and cubed conversions. Do not write 2.54 cubed as 16.4 that inches cubed to centimeters cubed relationship is exact and it's really 16.387064 if you write it as 16.4 you're rounding an exact conversion don't do that if you want you could write it this way now let's sum up the three ways to show this the first way I showed you the nice thing about this way is it's easier on the math. You get to see that it's three 2.54s you need for multiplying. And it can be easier to see that the units work properly. This was the second way I showed you. The nice thing about this is I think it more clearly shows that it's a volume conversion because you see the cubed conversion there. The bad thing about this one is just from experience people will take the 348 times 2.554 and forget that you're supposed to cube the 2.54. This way clearly distributes the cubed across the conversion. regardless of which of those three ways you were to choose, you still get the same answer. And all three ways are properly showing your work.